Wow, I stole Callie's sweatshirt. What's up, guys? I am here to introduce you to my bike's new paint job. <laughs> a lot of you guys were requesting me to do a video kind of showing you the bike that I painted, which was mine, obviously. <laughs> Callie and I worked for about two days on this bike combined. Yeah. And it turned out so good. I'm so, so happy with it. And I did some cinematic, not that great shots of her for you so you can kind of get a better 360, 180, 90 degree angle. So I just kind of wanted to give you an overview of how I made this happen with her. Basically, me and Callie took apart the fairings that we wanted to paint. Callie sanded them all down because she's freaking awesome at that. I don't know how she's so thorough and so good at getting all of the shiny off and making sure it's all ready for me. I don't know, it was just, it worked. And then I took the fairings and primed them and then laid down a base coat and did my detail painting, which is the texture that you see up here. And then I clear coated it and sealed it off. So basically it's kind of how I guess any shop would do it. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't work at a shop, so I'm not sure how they would create something like this. Funny story though, I did try to take this idea to a couple different people who do work at body shops. Some of them said it would cost a lot of money to produce this type of effect. Some of them even said that they couldn't do it or they wouldn't do it or they don't have the utensils to do so. So I thought, well, I'll just do it then. And if I mess up, I mess up. It's my bike, my mistake. Like. Let's just do it. I I'm I want to be creative. I want to do this, so let's just do it. Leo here loves the bike as well, huh? Mm -hmm. You like mommy's bike? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Leo approves. So that's that's the main. That's that's the biggest goal of my life is to make sure that my number one fanboy is a uh, liking of my creations, since he is a creation of mine. We are really proud of this idea that kind of came to life. We're so proud of how it was done and that we got to do it together because that was a really fun project for us. But anyway, um, there were two different types of effects that we did for this. I did the splatter on the main fairings, which you see here, all the neon colors. And then for this guy right here, I just kind of did like a, I don't know. So this is actually a mistake. I actually wanted to paint this blue to match these right here, but painted it green and I was upset. And I was like, oh my God, whatever. So I'm gonna start to paint it blue and I got really mad and then it started making this really cool effect on it. And I was like, hey, well that works really good. <laughs> That's how the back rear pegs ended up like that. And I'm actually really happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. And then the rest of the splatter is obviously just the normal technique. Another announcement, I know I'm sorry I said that the Callie and Mama Q&A was gonna be up this week, but we've had opposite work schedules and we're just kind of all over the place crazy. So we didn't really have any time to film that. Um, so we're gonna hopefully film it tomorrow if I can get all of our ducks in a row and we can get all that figured out. I'll get that filmed tomorrow. So keep your eye out for that. It's gonna be really cool and really fun, I hope. And your guys' questions will be answered. So if you have any other last minute questions, please leave them down below on this video or go comment on the picture on my Instagram. The tag will be right here. I will get that posted hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, also if you guys have any other questions about Coco, about the paint and everything like that, I will be more than happy to answer them as well. We did use Montana Gold Spray Paint, which is what I've been told the best paint to use for all the, like, the top graffiti artists, the street artists, it really holds up to weather and wear and tear. Obviously, I've been riding this bike for a few days and I haven't noticed any difference in the paint, which is so awesome, I'm so glad. And you can find this paint in basically any art store, I think. I'm not sure if Michael's Arts and Crafts has it. I do know that Riley's Art Supply on Maxwell Court in Santa Rosa does have it. <laughs> and Osh Hardware actually does have a few of them. They don't have the kind of the crazy neon colors like I got but they have the primer and a clear coat and a little bit more of the neutral colors. I guess you guys can enjoy the following super amateur cinema, cinema graphic, cinnamon twist, cinnamon roll footage that I filmed and it's not gonna be that great and I'm sorry, I'm gonna get better. But yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you like the bike. She's, she, I, I'm in love with her. I mean, more so than I was already, but 
I'm just so happy that it turned out the way it did and that I like it and that all of you guys seem to like it when I post it on Instagram. Again, I'm sorry for the spam, but I really do like the bike. So if you don't like the spam, you don't have to follow me, it's fine. Yeah, I just wanna give the biggest Biggest, biggest shout out to Callie for helping me make this dream become what it is. And it is absolutely beautiful. If any of you guys want fairings like this, or if you want to brainstorm with me or work with me on getting anything kind of like this, or something equally as cool or creative or crazy, just let me know because me and Callie want to make this kind of a side business because it was a lot of fun and we work really well together and we want to help your imagination, your dreams, your idea for your bike come to life. So if we can do that, just let us know because we definitely want to do more of this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.